Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. I got a box here, and this is really, really something interesting and special for these challenging times. This actually is a wearable. There's a mode that you can wear it on your arm and look at the screen, and it's a clock. So it qualifies as a smartwatch, but it's way, way more than this. Viatom is a company behind manufacturing uh, this particular device, and it's being um, offered to us from Wellu. It's called a Wellu Checkmate. Don't let the price scare you. Uh, let's go into detail on this one. It's the um, Pro Doctor Vital Signs Monitor, and this was being made way before the coronavirus was even imagined, but it has turned out to be very, very valuable, so much so that well, you uh, indicated they've given 500 of these to first responders and triage centers to help with the identification of the basic vital signs of potential um, candidates for screening of the virus. Uh, this is a little overview of it. Let me show you a little bit more. First of all, there's two different versions, a standard edition, which is really technical. I'm gonna talk to you about that in detail. And a home edition, which is more affordable for just about everybody that pretty much consists of the main unit and all the bells and whistles that it can do on its own. So let's take a look. First thing I want you to know, this is really designed for doctors and medical professionals. It's all certified, FDA, um, all sorts of different uh, things it's gone through, which of course contributes to the price being up there to qualify for all of the uh, accuracy that it produces. In fact, if you as a consumer would like to get one of these, you see down here for United States customers, You'll need to get a doctor's prescription literally for this device in order to order it. But if you're a healthcare provider, you should be able to just go on the website and order it directly. It's going to have all these different capabilities, which we'll be looking at one by one. And it's going to come with all kinds of different components in both the standard edition, which is the standard edition of the professional unit, or the home edition, the cost-effective unit, okay? So I'm gonna leave this down here as we open the box to jump into this. I've got two boxes here now. The first one with all these symbols on it here is the main unit, happens to be upside down, so let's flip it over and get in here. Oh, it's vacuum tight, which is a good thing. Uh, you got basic documents to begin with, a one-year warranty and how to contact them, a uh, quick reference card of what all of the parts are on it, which I think you're going to want detailed uh, review of. So I'm going to leave that on the screen for a second and flip it over here as well. We will look at these different steps, but it's good to have the reference in case I, you want to read them carefully. And then the apps. There's apps for... Um, the computer for your PC and also um, for mobile um, that you can work with. The My Beats Air app. And here's the um, QR codes you can scan for either iPhone or Android also, and the PC software that you'll be using for interface. Let's get into it. Inside the bag is the actual unit itself. And we've seen something like this already here, a pulse bit uh, device. Uh, which we'll take a close look at together later on. Uh, but this one has many, many more things than just the ECG that it will be doing, which we'll be showing you. That's the core. Everything else in here supplements that as interface uh, wires and gadgets and gadgets and stuff. Bring this out, and we come up with a huge, huge booklet which we're going to digest in pieces, not all at once. And then you get into um, the components that come with it. And again, some of these are for cost-effective, the home edition, and some of them are, are the more expanded standard edition. Now, this is going to be coming with the protective cover, so that's part of the home edition along with the main unit. Then you get these other things, like this is a SpO2, which means blood oxygen sensor that you put on your finger. That's part of the accessory package over here. You've got a wire, 
you got this thing, which I think is a Bluetooth type of a connection for um, transmitting signals. We'll learn about that as we get into it. You've got this. Here's the wristband that you can put on your wrist with electrode connections that can work together with the actual unit itself. And we've got an overall chest strap unit too. So you can wear this for nighttime monitoring of your vitals um, while you're sleeping. We got a couple of more things here. This is the snap-on things for the different pads. It comes with the pads for hookup to do the ECG work. Okay. And um, a lanyard. Yeah, we've got part over here and a splitter so that we have um, the ability to do more than one thing at once. Uh, one of these is the charging cable and, of course, the app uh, software. So when you get the basic home edition, you're going to get all the capabilities that come with the box. As your needs expand, you can add on blood oxygen, ECG, or even, and this is what's in the other box, the module for doing um, blood pressure. And we're talking, you know, real blood pressure here now with the cuff unit that is really sweet. It's very small, easy to do. It's manually operated. It's got um, the electronics all in here, and you're able to tie it together with the unit to capture your blood pressure. And you got the user's manual, of course, that goes along with that one as well. Now, all of this, all of it, everything you see here is part of that full standard edition of the pro package of this particular clinical type device. Um, but you can do a lot of it, individual readings and things directly from this unit itself. Okay, and clear everything out and let's look at this. So partly why I decided to bring this in is, you know, to help you guys learn about some of the technology that's out there that may be mission critical to where we are right now. Multiple language capability, you can slide through this. If English is the one, then we just go ahead. We can put the date format if you want year, month, day, or switch it around any way you like. Uh, temperature, I'm imperial focused, so I'm going to switch it to Fahrenheit. And then the date. And I'm just going to take the existing January 1st, 2019. You can do a factory restore on this thing. You notice it's a trans, it's a reflective screen. Um, there's not a backlit going on with it. So if I turn it wrong, you're not going to see it too well. And if I slip, forgive me, I'm looking at the camera and at the unit itself. So you can set the time in here as well. And then welcome. And now you're onto the main page. And this is where everything happens. You've got the ECG blood oxygen, thermometer, the blood pressure, NIBP, non-invasive blood pressure reading, if you hook it up to the cuff. You got to have the cuff for that, right? And then you got that center thing right there, um, which we're going to get back to on page two, which we just went into. See these fly back and forth here. You can review your data, set it up to Bluetooth to your mobile or connect by wire to your PC your overall settings, sleep monitoring, which you can do all night. It's got a built-in pedometer if you're wearing it and walking with it. It's got the mini monitor capability in it and a holster uh, version with the 24-hour ECG capability. So I'm going to come back here to the first page and show you quickly ECG because we've seen that before on the other unit that we reviewed. You have lead one and lead two. One is to your hand and one is by your waist. Easier for me to show you the hand here, so I'm going to say lead one. Did you hear that? There was a voice. The voice told me to, to hook it up this way. I'm going to put it toward my hand. I'm going to hold the front button here, and the back finger is going to hook on here, here, and touch it. Whoops, there we go. And it's going to produce the ECG chart that you can see going on right now. It can be set for any length of time, uh, 30 seconds, one minute, I believe five minutes. And of course, the 24-hour hookup kind, when you have the leads on it, is going to give you uh, extensive testing. It's showing a heart rate of 72 beats per minute. 
And again, I'm really trying to make sure you can see the screen and you see the bar at the bottom is tracking the whole thing. And now this is really impressive. Here's where you get a lot of data that we haven't seen before. And if you're in the medical field, you're going, yes, yes, give me one of those. Because you've got your QRS, you've got your QT and your QTC in addition to the heart rate. Lay folks, we'll try to explain what all that means, lay person to lay person, uh, later in another video when we go way deeper. But for now, just know you've got your ECG rhythm, you've got a basic overview description on whether it's regular or irregular, and you've got all these numbers that are very valuable to a medical professional, including if this is tie in, tied in with telemedicine. If you're using your own personal device to get this kind of data and be able to transmit that to your personal doctor or a medical professional working with you as you're moving through recovery, um, this is great. This is really great. I can come back out of here, I could do it again, or I can bail out completely. So that's heart rate. Blood oxygen now is this little... I keep interrupting her, but it's really kind of soft. I don't have the volume loud on it. It's this little hooky thing here. You lift this up and slide your finger underneath it. It doesn't matter if you're touching these buttons or not. And when I do lift it like that, you see it turns on a red light in the roof of this thing. I don't know if you can see that, but it's at the top up here, shining through. I've got to stay still now. Okay. And get the reflection for you. There you go. And now we're getting that PPG kind of thing that we see with the green diodes on the watches. Only this one's red because red is much better for getting blood oxygen. It's analyzing and I'm talking so fast I'm not getting good oxygen in my system. Uh, it's saying I have low blood oxygen. Good. It gave me a report that shows I may have an issue. There it is. 93% should be 95, 96 or higher. The PR and the PI are here as well, for those who know what that means. This is pulse rate. Ha ha, gotcha. 67 pulses per minute, right? Um, I won't bother go back until I can get a good one because I probably can't unless I settle down. Um, it shows you the correct way to put it and the incorrect way to put it. And you got to play with it to get it just right. Then you got thermometer. That's this thing. It's infrared. It's meant to be pointed towards your forehead. I'm going to touch it. It gives you the overall instructions. If you can see that, you're going to kind of scan it over your forehead a little bit. It's going to make some sound and then it's going to beep when it's done. I'm going to try it on my palm. It says put the probe on the temple, click the button, and then scan across the forehead. So I'm going to do this. Press the button. Oh, I guess I just pressed that. Is it? Oh, oh, it, it's the real button, not the screen. Sorry. I did this before. Ooh, I'm messing up. Hear that beeping? There. Do you hear the high pitch beep? And it got us a temperature. Now, you saw me use that other infrared camera device before that can do the same kind of thing, and you're getting thermal readings off of anywhere on your body. Of course, it's calibrated to work best with your forehead, but you could take it anywhere, and I don't need to physically touch, which is great. Um, so this is the, uh, the temperature aspect of it. The data gets stored with the date and the time and all that stuff. You can look at it later if you want to. You can redo the whole thing. Uh, or you can just bail out of it. And then we got the um, heart, uh, blood pressure, the non-invasive blood pressure, which I would need to hook up the cuff. And the cuff does not come with the home edition. So you don't have that one available to you unless you buy the cuff separate. But the daily check is really powerful. This is where you get all of it at once. But you got to be a little ambidextrous. So you saw each of the places I had to put my fingers. Well, it doesn't get thermometer. It gets these two. I'm going to do daily check right now. I touch it. I'm going to go in as a guest. It wants me to hold here, touch the back here, lift up here, and touch here. Four things all at once. Gives me a little twirly circle. Three, two, one. And it starts now to collect the ECG chart at the top the PPG blood oxygen chart at the bottom. It's giving me blood oxygen at 95%, 94, oh my gosh. 
93, oh no, <laughs> and uh, 70 for my heart rate. I really don't think I got my finger in there the right way. Um, but for the guest, and if, if I did have the blood uh, pressure available hooked up to it, I probably could get that data as well. But there's the things you saw on the two other screens combined together in a very quick, just takes a few seconds to get that. So if you're a health professional and you're working with a variety of people, this little instrument might be able to get you some basic facts. And blood oxygen, you know, that's um, definitely reflective of lung issues, right? If you don't have strong uh, volume of air and air transferring oxygen through the lungs, um, it's going to show up here. So with respect to the coronavirus and working with folks who may be suffering from the virus and or other things that can come along with the virus during the recovery or the processing process, this data may be uh, really valuable to you. So that kind of a financial investment might be worthwhile if you're going to be working with a bunch of different people or if you're concerned for yourself to have a unit that you could uh, present to your healthcare provider. It's um, easily charged with a charging cable. And like I said, there's a bunch of different accessories, which we're going to go through in another video of how you hook up the little finger thing for blood oxygen as opposed to here and hook up the blood pressure. Oh, notice I touched the button and it gives you a light definition of each of the different factors that it's collecting along with the range that's expected. And if you study a little bit, do a little bit of scholar.google.com, go there and put in what is QT and QTC and all these kind of things, get a little bit educated on it. You can also, along with us, find out what these factors may mean as you use this to um, to collect your data. So once again, oh, I gotta be careful. I'm, I'm used to tossing my watches around, but not a $500, excuse me, $460 machine. <laughs> All right, it's, it's good, it's still working. Um, once again, it's called the Check Me Pro. The actual standard um, version is about 460. If I can get a discount, which I'm working on for you, I will. You can get it through the WellU website, and uh, we'll have the links in the show notes to get over there for you. There's a lot of other items that they sell, and we've reviewed several of them, uh, an oxygen, blood oxygen ring, and another little device like that that's uh, made for uh, doing heart rate um, and e ECG. Uh, and of course, this one here too, now the WellU Check Me Pro. And again, it's available in standard edition with all the bells and whistles and in a home edition, which gives you basically this, the lander, the charging wire, and uh, all of the capabilities to collect the data, transfer it to either uh, your phone, your tablet, or your computer. And of course, send it off to your doctor as, uh, as necessary as well. Okay. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. We are a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. And uh, we are deviating a little bit from smartwatches today, but considering the situation in the world, it felt appropriate to try to give you guys as many options as possible to make sure that you'll be enjoying your smartwatch this coming Christmas, right? We'll see you soon. And I do mean that. Come on back. So the only thing left is to show it to you as a watch. And to do that, you simply press the button and come back to that particular. So the only thing left is to show you how this functions as a watch. To do that, we come back here, put it in the mount, and there you go. I got a nice little smartwatch.